Right, I'm carrying on because that was just a small video I did then because there was people. Um, there were three bikers. The people I, the three bikers went that way, up that coom there. Um, oh, and they're going back down that way now. Look, see, there's the bikers. They're going down there through the glen. The, the, the people I seen earlier are going up that way. I used to, I, I used to know all the names of the coombs, you know, really well. Um, uh, but I haven't brought a map today. I'm, I'm, I, you know, so I can't. But I can't remember all the names of the different coombs now. Hodder's Coombe and Holford Coombe, and there might even be a ladies' coombe and a frog coombe. You know. That's, uh, yeah, you will see bikers. They're usually, they're retired. They look retired. Grey beards. This is what we're doing, us um, baby boomers. Well, I'm, you know, I'm the tail end of the baby boomers, sort of um, early 50s. Um... You've always got to make sure you go the right way, mind. Because sometimes I think, should I be going up there? Because I can get confused myself. Or do I go up that way? It can get confusing. I'm not quite sure at the moment. I've got a feeling I go up here. I've got to get across another, another stream. Yeah, I think I do. I don't think I'd go off into the, um, just see if there's somewhere. Yeah, this is a, this is quite full, this stream, isn't it? So I haven't got, like, proper boots on. Even my walking boots aren't waterproof. All right, something tells me I'm going to have to risk this bit. That seems quite firm. That, 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 and that. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping this is it. I always used to call that Ant Hill, that big hill there. And you, you used to be able to see big ant hills. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I've got to go back over there yet. I'm not quite sure. I can't always remember. I'm going up here for now. Yeah, normally it's on the same big track. Yeah, now this is right up here. Yes, now if you wanted to go into Holford Coombe itself, you would follow there. Or, back over that way somewhere, you'd follow where those people were going. Either one of those. If I knew I was just doing Holford Coombe, I would know where I was... <laughs> which one it was, but I said I haven't done it for a few years. Things always look different in the summer. Um, all the, the leaves are out, everything's lush and green. It looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? I know some people don't like my videos because they shake a bit. I don't have one of those sticks. Um, I like to be able to control the camera closer than having a stick to have it on. Um, a hat, too hot to wear a hat like this. But I know some people think I spoil my videos because it's, they're too shaky. But I'm not the BBC and they're for my, I'm sharing them if people want some. I also have a lot of people that like them. They're natural. They're like the Blair Witch Project type video. But the cameras are getting better. Yeah, look at that, you can actually smell. Almost smell the dung of sheep and... Yeah, that's another walk up through there. Yeah, that's right. The coombs up through there. But we're skirting the coom. This has actually got a name as well, what I'm going along. When I do the, um, what I call like, 
the narration writing right up while I'm doing the video. I, would, I do a little um, paragraph and I shall do some descriptive names and things like that then. Oh, it's beautiful though. It's so peaceful, isn't it? It's so peaceful up here. The only worry this time of the year, I mean, I know I caught ticks up here 20 years ago. I had either that or it came off a fox that I rescued. Um, and I also knew people that lived up here that had Lyme's disease. They could have brought them in on their clothes, see? When they came to work. But I, 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 I feel it did, it did um, coincide with the menopause, though, when I was just starting that, um, the hot sweats and everything. But yeah, I had a number of bites. I didn't really know what they were. They weren't just spots. I believe, personally, that they were tick bites. And I got lots of symptoms of um, what happens when you get bitten by ticks. They were mainly located on my back. You know, I could have up to, wow, loads of them, 10, 20 on my back. I used to try and pick them off. I never knew much about ticks then. Um, but of course the head gets left in and it gets infected. So basically what you need to do is keep on the move up here, this time of year especially. And um, don't go in the ferns, don't actually go in them. If you have a weed, do it in the middle of the path. If there's no one coming. Because they're just waiting to get you. See, go up with deer up here. Not all the ticks will have limes. So I don't know if I actually had limes disease, but I had something. So what we're doing now is this, this is a gradual climb. I can remember bringing Georgia up here when she was young. Several, on well, several occasions when they were very young, like five or six, seven, eight, I brought them up here at Lockwood. Then I brought Georgia up here. She might have been ten or something like that, ten or eleven. And um, what I remember, we always had to make sure we had jam sandwiches and cheese sandwiches. And um, we used to have little breaks. As long as she was fed, um, she was all right. She could keep going. So I had to have plenty of fluids. Because you have to teach them not to drink all at once. You have to ration. Hydrate quite well before you come out. You know, hydrate. <sighs> and, um, because I've only brought, I've got one big bottle and a carton of Ribena. Plus three oranges. Oranges are fluids. So I had to leave something back in the van, you see. <sighs> yeah, she would come out and do this walk. I've been coming out here for years. I brought Roy up here, my old friend of mine once. Took him up here and then along and down through the glen. Which is better to done in the winter actually. Because of the ferns. Because you have to go so through Adder Country. This is Adder Country by the way. Um, I've only ever seen one Adder in my life up here. I have. When I was a kid. When we were looking for sheep's bones. I used to come when I was about 10, 11, 12. We used to cycle out here, leave our bikes back there unlocked. No one used to nick anything in those days. And um, we'd climb up at the top. And there weren't, there weren't the threat of ticks then either, by the way. It was never heard of. Anyway, we'd get up there. Something's been gathering here though, isn't it? Shady early. 
and then we'd look for sheep's bones. I always came back with a bag full of sheep's bones to, for, to bleach and take into school. So I've been coming here a long time. Like I say, it's a couple of years now. I normally get out here once a year. And I would do a lot more exploring if it was a bit closer. That's another reason for moving over this way is because I'm exploring, but I do like my flat I've got. That's the thing. I do like my flat in Weston. It's located well. It's big rooms. I've got room to breathe there. Although, obviously, the valley and the Welsh yellow pollution. Right then, we're climbing up. We're in the middle of climbing up to the top. There's quite a lot of climbing to do yet. And it, when I get through this bit of wood here, I'll be out in the open. I'll have to put my hat on then. I brought my hat today. You do get hides out here as well. People watch for um, animals. They build their hides. Um, sometimes you can see them as you, if you're a human. You can spot their hides. And they're looking at uh, the human population. <laughs> no, they're supposed to be looking for the deer and wildlife. Yeah, so I'm, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm playing through a wood, skirt with a stream going down through the middle, and then eventually I will be up high. I will be on top of the, the, um, the Quantock Hills, where you can see all over. But look at it. It's magical, isn't it? You can hear the stream. Right, over and out.